CompTIA A Plus Core 1 Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 1.1. Given a scenario, install and configure laptop hardware and components. Mobile Device Hardware. The first topic up for the CompTIA A Plus Core 1 certification exam is hardware and device replacement for mobile devices. That is why I will start by defining the term mobile device. In IT, a mobile device is a portable, battery-powered computing gadget like smartphones, tablets, or laptops designed for ease of mobility. These devices are commonly equipped with wireless connectivity and include a range of functions, from communication to web browsing and application usage, tailored to operate on the go. While these portable devices allow us to perform many of the same tasks as a traditional desktop computer, their internal computing components may differ. Unlike the spacious insides of a desktop PC, mobile devices have to fit everything into a much smaller space. Therefore, engineers design these components with a focus on miniaturization, power efficiency, and heat management which are crucial for maintaining performance without compromising the device's portability. Now, before we dive inside one of these mobile devices and get our hands dirty, safety first. Whenever you're planning to work inside a mobile device, always disconnect it from any power source and remove the battery. Implementing this one step helps to prevent electrical accidents or damage to the device. Additionally, when it comes to battery maintenance, you'll need to be aware of the type of battery your device uses and the manufacturer's guidelines for removal and replacement. Some devices have batteries that are easily swappable, while others may require a more delicate approach. Our next mobile device component on the list are keyboards and keys. These components are prone to wear and tear and may eventually require replacement. It is also important to carefully remove and clean under the keys from time to time. Keeping your keyboard clean will prolong its life and ensure your keystroke inputs are accurately recorded. Moving on to random access memory or RAM, laptops typically use a type called SODIM. SODIM stands for Small Outline Dual Inline Memory Module. I know, what a mouthful. Anyways, this type of RAM is more compact than standard memory modules found in desktop computers, allowing it to fit into the thin profile of a laptop. Additionally, SODIMs are designed for lower power consumption, which helps prolong battery life, and are upgradable in many situations, providing increased performance when required. Now, when it comes to smartphones and tablets, these devices commonly use RAM soldered directly onto the device's motherboard. This integration means that RAM in smartphones and tablets is not user-upgradable as increasing memory capacity would require a complete redesign of the motherboard, making it a fixed resource from the moment of manufacture. The last internal computing component we will discuss in this video is laptop storage. For this we encounter two main types, the hard disk drive, or HDD, and the solid state drive, or SSD. An HDD, with its traditional mechanical parts, offers a cost-effective solution for large storage capacities, but it's the SSD that brings a performance edge. SSDs, having no moving parts, provide faster data access, reduced power consumption, and improved durability, leading to a noticeable boost in performance. While upgrading from an HDD drive to an SSD drive is feasible, there is one drawback. Most laptops are designed with a single drive bay, limiting upgrade options to either replacing the existing drive or migrating data to a new drive. Replacement involves installing a new drive and reinstalling the operating system and applications, while migration is a cloning process that transfers the entire contents of the old drive to the new SSD, preserving all data and programs. Whichever method you choose, just don't lose any important data. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.